Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows 11 update KB5006746 is now rolling out. It started rolling out yesterday on the 21st of October 2021, and I'm receiving my update this morning uh, on the 22nd in my region of the world. Now, this is a non-security update which carries major bug fixes to the Windows 11 operating system, which I'm sure a lot of Windows 11 users, including myself, are going to be happy about. And this is also the first optional update that is rolling out to the Windows 11 operating system. Now, if you'd like to see if you have the update, as always, we just head over to the Start menu, your Settings, and we just go to Windows Update. And here we can see cum Cumulative Update for Windows 11, KB5006746. Now, this is an optional update. So if we go to Advanced Options, you will see it slips in under optional updates in Windows 11. And as I always suggest with optional updates, only install this update if you are having issues and bugs in the operating system, else just leave it alone. But I'm sure a lot of Windows 11 users will be installing this, including myself, because there are a lot of, a lot of uh, bug, bugs and performance issues currently found in the Windows 11 operating system. And then if you don't install this, um, a lot of the fixes will be carried over into the uh, mandatory uh, automatic um, Patch Tuesday cumulative update, which will roll out next month for Windows 11. Now, just to mention some of those fixes quickly, and AMD users of Ryzen processors are going to be happy because, um, and I have posted on this previously, because KB5006746 now has finally fixed the L3 caching issues that were affecting performance um, on certain applications um, on devices that were using that are using Ryzen processors. And as mentioned, Microsoft has fixed a lot of other bugs, mainly to do with performance. And just to mention some of those quickly from the release notes, um, it updates an issue that might cause your Bluetooth mouse and keyboards to respond slower uh, than expected. Um, it improves the time estimate for how long you might wait to use your device after it restarts. It also updates an issue that causes some applications to run slower than usual after you upgrade to Windows 11. Now, this is a, a bug that was affecting me. I found um, that some apps, especially my web browsers, were you know not responding and I would have to restart. So I'm actually on a personal level, I'm happy that that has been addressed in this update. And it also addresses an issue that prevents the search window from appearing on a secondary monitor. Uh, the chat icon uh, in the taskbar has received some visual redesigns and animations. And then also another one which I've posted on previously, uh, it updates an issue for some users that prevented the start menu from working and prevented uh, some users from seeing the updated taskbar after upgrading to Windows 11. And I did post a video on that previously. And then some other uh, little bug fixes just to mention quickly, um, which I also have posted on. Um, it also addresses a bug uh, where the start menu was uh, not working and launching apps that use the non-ASCII text that was crashing the operating system and causing the dreaded blue screen of death. And then also the file explorer performance issues have also been fixed in this latest update. So this is quite an important update to the Windows 11 operating system, KB5006746, as it does address, as mentioned, numerous and major bugs in the operating system. So um, if you find yourself having experienced any of those issues, then do yourself a favor and update your Windows 11 operating system with this latest optional update. And then also, I will leave a link down below to the release notes for this update, where if you are interested, you can, I've mentioned some of the highlights, you can go check out in depth all the improvements and fixes as there are numerous improvements and fixes to the Windows 11 operating system with this latest and first optional update that is rolled out for Windows 11. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.